Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this really cool channel art. And uh, you can see it looks pretty cool, I like the colours. And uh, yeah, so, uh, the, I got this idea from a client work that I made quite a, um, that's quite a while ago. And uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool, so yeah, I thought I'd do a tutorial on it. And uh, yeah, so uh, if you do find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to leave a like. It will be much appreciated. So um, yeah, so before we get into it, there are a few things you'll, you'll need. Then there's the 70k uh, rated 70k subscriber pack. Um, the link to, uh, to this video will be in the description so you guys can go download it. It's pretty cool and it's, uh, in my opinion it's a lot better than most exclusive packs out there. So yeah, it'll save you money and uh, yeah, so it's pretty good. And uh, secondly, we're going to need some background images. For, the, for this example I used Modern Warfare 2. And uh, yeah, all I literally did was type in Modern Warfare 2 wallpapers. And uh, I just picked my favourite ones and yeah, they look pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be using those. So um, yes, yeah, so let's get into it. Also, there's this channel art template that you're going to need. I'll put it in the description as well. And uh, yeah, so everything will be in the description for you. And okay, so let's get right into it. So first off, what you're going to do is you're going to pick the colour for your channel art. So as you can see, this one is kind of like a cyan kind of colour. So we're going to go for the same kind of thing. So um, what you want to do is you want to go, you want to find your colour in the foreground colour part. And then um, uh, I think, okay, I think this colour will be good. Now you can press Alt Backspace on your keyboard. And now what that will do is it will fill the layer with your foreground colour. And it will just save you having to go to your, um, your paint bucket tool and all that. So uh, yes, yeah, so now that we've done that. I'm going to add a gradient and, no not gradient, a uh, a texture and Rated Pack has some really cool textures so what we're going to do is we're going to go to textures and stocks in this pack and then we're going to use the first one which is right here and uh, yeah so what we want to do is we're going to make sure it fills up the whole page and once you've done that just press enter on your keyboard just like that and now we're going to drag it below the folders just so that it doesn't go outside the guides and we know where we can and can't design because anything out in these black boxes won't be visible when you put it on. So uh, okay, so now we put our texture in. We're gonna set the texture to overlay. Uh, if I can actually click it, there we go. And uh, we're gonna lower the opacity a bit. And uh, okay, that's kind of cool. Okay, so now that we've got that, we've done. Uh, we've added a texture to our cyan background. We're gonna add a light source. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our foreground color to white, just like that. And then go to our brush tool, which is right here. And then um, we wanna right click, and then you can change all these settings for your brushes when it loads and uh, yeah so we're going to use this default brush right here and then what I like to do is instead of changing the size there I like to use my square bracket keys just so I can get an idea of how big the brush actually is so um, yeah you can use the square bracket keys on the keyboard just to change the size and then uh, you can just click just like that and okay now we have a cool light source and I'm going to change this light to luminosity and uh, actually didn't make it any, any difference <laughs> so I might just lower the opacity and uh, yeah that's pretty cool and also a cool thing about this template is that it already has uh, rulers set up for you. So all you need to do is press command colon and they will hide and show your rulers just like that. And now we can actually make sure that this light is centered. And okay. So now we've centered our lights. We've got our grunge in the background. Now we're going to add our images that we downloaded earlier. So we're just going to click, drag them in and we're going to make sure they're the right size. You want to see, you want to be able to see what's in the photo. So um, I'm just going to click, resize it and um, okay you do kind of want it to end in the middle and uh, just because we're using two photos so you, you kind of want it to you kind of want each photo to take up half of the banner each so um so yeah you want it to meet in the middle kind of and uh, now that we've done that there we can set this to overlay and you can also set it to screen there are a few things that we could do and then lower the opacity that way but i think i'm going to set it to overlay and then just lower the opacity a bit and now you can see that I have this white line where the image ends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my eraser tool and you can see we'll have this no entry sign right here. That's because the layer is not rasterized. So you can either right click and go to rasterize layer or you can just click and then, just put, and then a, a window will come up and just press OK on that window. And now you can just erase this um, the end. And now you can see that there is no line there anymore and it just makes the banner look a lot cleaner and uh, yeah, it looks a lot better. And now we're going to drag in our second photo which is right here and um, okay so you just want to resize it make sure again you kind of want to end, make it end in the center and uh, what I wanted to do I wanted to make it so each photo is kind of facing each other and so that they're not kind of facing the same direction so to do that we need to do is right click and go to flip horizontal and uh, now you can see that they're kind of facing the middle and it looks really cool that way and uh, yes yeah, so now you want to do is press the tick and now we can do the same thing so just set the blend mode to overlay and then we can just lower the opacity just like that 
and now we can go back to our eraser tool and then you can just click press ok and then erase this center line right there and uh, yeah it all looks pretty cool right now and uh, I'm kind of liking the way it's turning out and now we're going to add a gradient so to do that we're going to go to adjustments which is down here or this adjustments uh, drop menu and then go to gradient and um, what, it, what this will do is the, the preset will always be the foreground color so what you want to do is you want to um, click on the gradient then double click on this first point then change it to black and then um, it, it, you want it to fade off into transparency so you want to make the second point here black as well and um, but then make sure that this top point here has zero opacity so you just want to click there and you make sure it has zero opacity and then you press ok and now we can actually move this gradient around and uh, yeah so now that we've done that we can press ok and it looks pretty cool I kind of like the gradient we, we could set it to overlay although it might look a bit dodgy so yeah we might just leave it as normal and then we can just lower the opacity a bit and uh, yeah so yeah it looks pretty cool and um, we're actually gonna make sure that our light is above the gradient just so kind of just just so there isn't a clash of lighting and uh, yeah you'll see what I mean if you do it yourself and uh, yeah so this looks pretty cool right now and um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Rated's pack and I'm gonna go to I think it's the first part then it is actually no it might be the second part and then uh, you want to go to, wait, I think it is the first part. Yeah, exclusive stocks and then right here. You want to open that and the, what that will do is open this. And uh, yeah, so you've got some pretty cool um, pretty, some pretty cool stocks here. And uh, we're just going to click, drag this in and press OK. <clears throat> and press Command T to resize it. And then just resize it so it fills the whole banner just like that. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to filter, blur, and then Gaussian blur, just so it doesn't take up too much of the banner. And um, yeah, so now you can see it kind of adds a nice effect. I like it when I blur this kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, so now we've done that, I'm just going to drag this layer below my gradient and my light, and then I'm going to set the layer to screen. And now you can see that you can still see these red particles in the in the banner, just like here. Um, and but you can still see everything else that was going on in the background and it looks pretty cool that way if you want to change the color of these particles all you need to do is press command u and now we can just change the color just by dragging on this so i could have it to match the background or we could just keep it orange it kind of looks kind of cool if you have a, a contrast in colors i have two different colors on the same banner but i think i'm going to go for the same site and kind of look and uh yes so it's looking pretty cool right now we've got our, our lights we've got our particles and now we're going to add one more stock so this stock is actually in the textures so we go to part two then go to textures and stocks and then i think it's this one right here yeah it looks really cool it's good it's a really cool light stock so um, we're just going to click drag that in just like that and then there's quite a lot of things we can do with this we could set this to overlay as well and then lower the opacity um just like that or we could just set it to screen and then lower the opacity even more and um, or we could just keep it up I suppose but I think we're going to set it to overlay and then just lower the opacity a bit oh not screen overlay there we go and now you can still see the light streaks but it also looks pretty cool with the uh, the background and um, yeah so this is our banner so far it's not looking too bad and again we could blur the stock as well if we wanted to so just go to filter blur gaussian blur and um, it kind of makes the, the strokes not as visible but they're still there so um, yeah that's that's a cool feature you could do or a cool technique you could use but I think I'm gonna use uh, I'm not gonna use that in this one okay so now we've done that we've got our cool uh, well all our stocks in and it looks pretty cool now we're gonna add some color corrections so we're gonna go to our adjustments tab if you don't have this open you wanna go to window and adjustments which is right there then go to brightness and contrast this is gonna increase the contrast and then just the brightness just a bit or we can actually I think we could leave that the same or just a bit less uh, yeah we could also just increase this a bit more as well and okay that always looks pretty cool and also if you did want to change the color of the whole banner all you need to do is go to hue and saturation and then you can literally just change the color and uh, yeah it looks pretty cool that way you could also have a fade um, just by doing that and then clicking on the mask then go to our eraser tool and then uh, just click once with the eraser and you can see that we've got some cool colors going on it actually looks really nice like that and um, yeah so I think, I think I'm gonna keep it like that well, we could just change it we don't have to have a pink we could 
Oh, okay. I think that's pretty nice. So we got, we'll go for the orange and black. So we just go back to our hue and saturation. Uh, um, I mean the mask, and then we can just click some more if we wanted to. Um, you could also change the opacity of your brush if you wanted to make. Uh, if you still wanted to click, but still have like less of an impact. So um, it kind of works. The, the opacity on brushes kind of works the same as on um, layers. But I think I'm actually going to keep it the purple. I think this looks really nice. And if we can just, if we wanted to, we could just lower the opacity of the whole uh, hue and saturation layer. And um, yeah, so that's really cool. It kind of had, looks like a space effect. And yeah, I think I think it's actually starting to look a bit better than this. But uh, yeah, okay. So now that we've done that, we can actually add our text now. So what we're going to do is we're going to show our guides just by pressing Command colon and just press T on your keyboard to get the text tool. You can just click there and then just click, type in text, and then just hold shift while you make it bigger just so it doesn't resize like this uh, so just hold shift and then uh, press command and you can move it while transforming it and uh, yes yeah, so now we've done that we make sure it's centered and now we can actually change the font I think this font isn't too bad but uh, I think we're gonna change it anyway um, there's there is a font that I bought the other day it's actually pretty cool from a, a thing it's called the creative market which is this one it's called Rayleigh so if you just type that in Google you'll find it but you do have to pay for it so I'm not actually going to use that in this tutorial because I know that a lot of you guys won't actually have that font so um, yeah we're just going to keep going through it and uh, see which font we can find that actually looks really good uh, I think typograph will look kind of nice yeah we could use that and then just make sure it's centered just like that uh, I think with this template that the, the center line isn't actually centered so what you might have to do is you might have just drag this one out and then um, go to your bottom layer just like that press command T and then just drag it in from the ruler and there you go we've actually got a proper center point in there because I just don't think that the one that was there before was actually in the center and um, now, now that we've added our text we can set this to overlay and um, what it does is it kind of enforces the background colors and it looks, it looks really nice and um, so yeah we could do that or we just set it back to normal and then we could use a layer style which is right I've got I've actually got a layer style pack which I made a tutorial on and then I left a link to my own pack in the description so I'll leave a link to my layer style pack in the description um, which has like layer styles like this but uh, for this one I think I'm just going to set it to overlay and yeah it looks pretty cool like that and we're going to double click on it and if you don't have all your options here all you need to do is go to FX and then show all effects and then we're going to add a bit of a drop shadow and we're going to increase the size a bit you guys can just copy down these numbers you can pause the video and then just copy them down and uh, yeah so um, that these are drop shadow settings and um, now I'm going to go to gradient and we're going to set this blend mode to multiply which is right here and then I'm going to change the gradient to this black and white default and then I'm going to uncheck reverse and then we can just lower the opacity on the gradient and you can see we've got a bit of a gradient going on in our text and it looks really cool and uh, yeah so that's basically how you do this channel art tutorial thank you guys for watching and um, yeah, I think we actually made it landed up making something that looks kind of like better than the than the preview, which is quite surprising. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you did find it helpful, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.